tip number one is don't over shampoo your hair. Now, it's not a right or wrong answer to how many times do you need to shampoo your hair within the week, but what you can actually uh, see in over shampooing your hair is basically dandruff, the fact that you have split ends or your hair is not as shiny as it used to be, and even frizziness. Now with Malia, she shampoos her hair twice a week, and I would say that's excessive because she doesn't necessarily comb through her hair as well, which that's what I'm about to do right now. And um, her scalp is really dry and she has dandruff. So, and that actually leads us into our next tip, which is conditioning your hair properly. Learning how to condition your hair properly is very important. And I'm not talking about right after you shampoo your hair, I'm talking about um, throughout the week. So with Malia's Crown, we have two amazing products, the Berry and the Lemon Drench, and the Duo, what they do is help remove scalp buildup and also hydrate the scalp. This leave-in conditioner treatment is amazing throughout the week. Okay, so for maintenance tip number three, you wanna make sure that you're stimulating your scalp. So one of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm actually applying oil to Malia's scalp as I'm combing through her hair before I actually put a style in her hair. And with her not combing through her hair all the way, that's what I'm doing right now. But as far as stimulating your scalp, after you do a leave-in conditioner, you wanna make sure that you are putting a hot oil treatment or even just oil in your scalp. What um, I'm using in Malia's hair is from Malia's crown, is the berry, is the cocoa berry oil. Okay, so maintenance tip number four is using shampoo, the right amount of shampoo in your hair. So this is a video within itself, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. When you are using shampoo in your hair, you wanna make sure that you saturate your hair completely. You use a quarter size of shampoo. You start with your scalp and you massage it in until it lathers. And after that, you want to saturate your hair again just to rinse that shampoo out of your hair and make sure you are focusing on your scalp as you are rinsing the hair out. Most of us do shampoo our hair in the shower if we do not go to a salon. Um, the important thing is when you are shampooing your hair, you focus on just your scalp. So even if you did have issues to where it's like, okay, I'm not getting all of the shampoo out, you wanna make sure you saturate your hair with warm. Okay, so we're gonna talk about maintenance tip number five. It's super easy. So maintenance tip number five is basically talking about how you dry your hair. So you have to be careful with how you dry your hair. Air drying is suggested when you are a coily, curly girl, um, but using the tile and making sure you air dry at the same time is a good way to uh, dry your hair. So tile drying and air drying is really good. So for instance, like if Malia's hair was shampooed and we weren't going through the process of oiling her scalp, I we can pretend that her hair is wet. And with her hair being wet, the first thing I wanna do is make sure that I am saturating the water out of her. I'm getting saturating the, the tile. I cannot talk today. Saturate the tile with the water. And as I'm doing that, I can basically um, go through and start to do her hair, basically braid it or twist it, whichever one. I prefer to twist my hair when I just wash my hair to where it's easy for me to just run out and go. That's a really good style to just wash and go, just to twist or even a braid out is really good. But that's also another video. Okay, so we got six and seven of the maintenance tips for your hair. So actually, number six is actually a good one. 
You cannot. You cannot. You cannot shower in hot water. Mm -hmm. It's not good for your hair or your scalp. So what it's doing is basically stripping the oils that you just put into your hair out. So you wanna make sure that you have a good temperature of a shower. Like if you really need a hot, if you really need a hot shower, I, I would suggest that you put something on your, your hair, more like a um, plastic bag and then your bonnet so that you are concealing that moisture in your hair. Tip number seven is really easy. If you get your ends trimmed every three to four months or 12 to 14 weeks, you'll be okay. So that is the maintenance tip for taking care of your hair. You have seven of those, and we are going to style Malia's hair. Or you can just wear it like that. No. No. Okay. So let's let's get this let's get this Monday going. So we are in the middle of doing Malia's little style on her hair after we. Oil her scalp and comb through it very well. It's very hard to like do her hair now that she's a little bit older because she just got an attitude. Like right now, she's just sitting here on her phone, not talking. Why are you watching it? So shit. They're making something. Mm, I don't like what they're making. It looks weird. What? It's fine. Okay, anyway. So I have twisted her hair and combed it out in the back. So now I'm in the mid section of her hair. So I'm just going to help myself with her ends and try to make sure that everything is combed out so that I could part her hair correctly. That's one of the things that I have basically been focusing on when it comes to combing her hair because like I said, it's like we, we fight, but I remember when she was younger, she used to love me doing her hair. Now, it's like she'd rather look like the homeless person or cotton swab or cotton ball. I don't, I don't know. And she's sitting right here not saying nothing. My face tells it all. Your what? My face tells it all. I can't see your face. Forget it. Huh? Forget it. Forget it? Yeah. Have you seen that movie? No. That used to be one of my favorite movies. That's a movie. Yes. What you just thought it was you? I didn't know it was a movie. Dang. Oh. She didn't know it was a movie. Maybe that's what we should do. We should like watch old movies or older movies or movies when I was younger and then we could do like a review on it. What do you think? That'll be fun. Don't you think so? Sure. I think that would be... See, great. some football players are telling me to eat Subway. <sighs> That's what's up. But you can make Subway at home. What? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end this video. In fact, if you like the structure of this video, please let us know. I think for the most part, I think this was kind of fun and different. And just talking about the hair maintenance of your hair, Malia definitely needs to talk about the hair maintenance. And we're going to actually uh, do that this time around this week because with twisting her hair, she does have some, some ends that are kind of like, straight and they're straight because she actually likes to wear her hair flat iron now one of the things that I get on her about is washing her hair and combing it out 
and you can't really tell on this but like most of her ends are kind of like fried which is it's killing me on the inside but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get it together yes we are so if you like this video you should definitely like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification for more sharing is caring and we will see you soon